Hello all, so if you think you might have a bad injector or you might be inside the circuit, you're not sure, I thought I'd make a real quick video on how you go about testing this and how you could tell whether or not the circuit's working or if the fuel injector is bad. And this will be related, like you get like a P0201, P0202, codes like that. And so to do this, I'm just gonna use some real simple tools. I'm just gonna use a regular multimeter. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could just be a real low cost, cheap $20 multimeter. Anyone will work. And I'm gonna use just a real low cost, cheap 12 volt test light. If you need a low-cost test light or a low-cost multimeter, I'll put some links down below in the description. But this is all the tools I'm going to be using. And this vehicle is going to be easy to test because all the fuel injectors are just right out here in the front and the wiring's right here. Sometimes it could be a little more difficult to get to these fuel injectors. If that does happen to you, sometimes you could trace the wires coming out to the side of the engine. Or if you could get a wiring schematic for your particular engine, you could check to see where the wires are coming out and where they're going to so you can tap into them on the side of the engine. But basically the first test we're going to do is we're just going to test these two leads going into the fuel injector for continuity using ohms on the multimeter. And basically there's a small coil inside of these fuel injectors and when it's energized it's going to pull up on a little magnet that's going to let fuel go into the cylinders. And if that coil goes bad, if it gets open or it gets outside of its rated ohms that's supposed to be, then that's going to cause issues. These fuel injectors are going to have a rated ohms that they're supposed to be at. So you can go online and try to look up that information to find out what that fuel injector on your particular engine rated ohms are supposed to be since there is differences. Or you could just check another one, a known good one, to see what it is and check to see if that one's close, especially if they're easy to get to like this. And so the first test I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this meter. I'm going to set it to ohms. It's just that little horseshoe looking symbol right there. So I'm just going to set it to ohms. And so this is the one I want to check. So I'm going to check this one since I know it's good. I'm going to see what the rated ohms are on this one and match them to this one. And so I'm just going to touch those two leads down there. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but it's shown right here that it's 13.1 ohm. So that's the known good ones. So now I'm going to go over to the ones I'm testing. So I got my meter on the leads that I'm testing and it is, it's at 13.1. So I know this fuel injector is good, that there's no issues with it. If this number was really high, like 13.3, 13.4, or 16, or 18, or anything like that, or no reading at all, like this right here, where the meter is just like this, so then this means that it's open, and so it's also bad and needs to be replaced. But basically, that coil inside of there should not be open, and it should be at its rated ohms. So I know this one's good, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test the wiring. I'm going to test the wiring to see if it's working. I'm just going to use this low-cost test light. And so basically what's going on with this wiring, be sure to get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. But one side's going to have voltage going to it. So you're going to have like 12 volts going to it. And the computer is going to be controlling the ground side. That's how it's going to enable this circuit by using the ground side. So first of all, with the key on, one of these pins should always be getting voltage. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check for voltage. Okay, so I got the key in the on position and I am getting voltage to it. As you can see, this red wire right here, this is the always on 12 volts right here going to this fuel injector. I got one side just going to ground and I'm just checking to see if I'm getting voltage. You can also use a multimeter, be sure you're getting the correct voltage because sometimes the voltage can be wrong and sometimes it could be wrong when you start the vehicle up. So it'll be right when the vehicle's not running, but then when it's running, something's messing up the voltage. So that's also a good thing to check. But right now I know I'm getting voltage. So the next thing I want to see is I want to see if that if the computer is sending it a pulse to turn on or off. And basically the computer controls the on or off going to this fuel injector using the ground and it's gonna pulse it. So if you start the vehicle and you touch both leads going to these wires right here, going to the fuel injector, this light right here is gonna pulse. It's gonna be real small, but you'll be able to see it pulsing. And if you can see it pulsing, that means that circuit's working. And so that's basically it. That's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna get this side connected and I'm gonna start the engine and I'm gonna show you how this pulses as long as that circuit's working. So I'll be right back. So I'm back and I was having some difficulty doing this with one hand. So I jerry rigged up this little thing just to show you what I'm talking about. It's just one side of the light's going to the other side. So make sure these two wires don't touch. So basically when you go to each side of that wire, this light right here is gonna let out a little pulse. Hopefully you can see that inside of there. If you don't see no pulse at all, or that light's not shining at all, then you know there's a problem. But basically, hopefully you can see that there's a little pulsing going on inside that light. And so that means that it's working. But so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a real quick video on how you go about troubleshooting a bad fuel injector or the wiring going to the fuel injector. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helped you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.